this is Michael now. Got the dog bowl, the trash can. Not so bad, got the drift, got the new faucet on the way. Got to get the filter next week. Fix the leak in the roof. Fix the lock. Got some lightings going, some extra lightings. Came with a stove. Just learned the, the central heat is not uh, electric, it's gas. But the fan is electric, and it has a plug right there at the window, and it has a vent that sucks in the air for the propane. And so I can put the heater right there at the window at the table where the fan's at. And they'll suck it in and blow it through the vents. So that's kind of cool. And then the breaker, I got to get a 20 amp because I got a 15 amp, which if it's a brand new 15 amp, it would it would be able to power it. But as the years go on, it would cause it to fault because it's not the right ampage. It's a 2000 watt heater, hot water heater. And so 15 amps isn't good enough. You got to have a, a like 16 amps. They don't make 16 amps. You have a 20 amp. And so a 20 amp fuse has got to go in it. And uh, it's a 30 amp trailer. So you can't run the AC and the hot water at the same time. You'd have to pick one or the other. You can't run the microwave and you can't run the hot water at the same time. One or the other. Same with a heater. You can't run the hot water and the heater at the same time. No. Yeah. Yeah, you can't run those at the same time. Unless you go under like a thousand watts. The refrigerator, you can run with a hot water heater. But you can't run it with nothing else. Because then it'd flip the breaker. Well, I say that. Probably not though. Because it's like, if it's an old breaker, it probably will. If it's a new breaker, it probably won't. But, one of those jokes. Uh... This is Michael now. Plus it's got a little bit of a drip. It's a little old. I was thinking about taking the hot water out. And so what I'm going to do with the hot water heater is I'm going to have the breaker box open. And I'm just going to flip the switch. So I'll turn it on whenever I go to work. And then I come home, take a shower, and I'll cut it off. So it's only going to be on like 12 hours a day. But I was thinking on the hot water side of the faucet. I was going to do a, uh, instead of having hot water, I was going to do a filter, just a, a cold water filter. It's like hot water filter, but I don't know. Because that magnesium, it has a magnesium, uh, oh, what do they call it? Anode, an anode rod, a magnesium anode rod. Probably gives you the runs. Uh, so probably, probably not. You know, that magnesium is like some Epsom salts. Uh, and so I'll probably just do the uh, the cold water and get rid of that. So this is Michael now. I'm not so homeless. Got my dream catcher. Got my high school diploma and a whiteboard to write my crazy thoughts down. I was thinking of a Dyson sphere. Is it crazy? Dyson sphere. Downsize it to a single electron or particle going through a coral. And then I went even farther say well how would this work you would have the neutron proton in the in the sensor and then the electrons would be in another tube 
and you would have the them separated, all three separated, and then like hydrogen, right? And then you would open the valve at the end to where it they would all collide, but on the sides of the electrons or particles, you would have corals that would collect a charge based off of its movement. But then I was thinking today, do this exact same design of three tubes and then have on the opposite side where it collects, it combines back into one, have it on this bottom side and instead of it having it combined back into one, that line, imagine that line being like perfectly down on the forks, um, it would be a hydrogen filter or a noble a noble filter of some sort something that won't accept electrons something that won't combine with nothing something that's completely stable for the purpose of it being a filter that it will pass particles through it but it won't pass electrons neutrons or uh, protons through and so what you would do is you would have that and then you would have a shutter of some sort or an actuator to shut off the valve and then you would open the other side so you would have like almost like an hourglass in a constant flipping motion it would constantly flip while being in a stable position so it's like the particles would be sand that keeps on traveling to either side but you're not having to do no work of movement the sand is moving itself and it has no gravity to force itself to have friction and it's dedicated to get back to its whole self so it's always going to be in motion. I'm not sure how that would work though because you can't create it out of nothing. And then you know like, so on each end you'd have these caps. One would be open to the opposite end of the recombining elements. And before it reaches the end, you would shut that one and open the other. So distance is the key. And so it would always cause it to be entangled to go back in the opposite direction. Like, oh damn, it, the path of least resistance, this was the fastest way, now it's not. You cut the maze, I think I go do laundry too. You cut the maze, so that way it has to take a new route while it's in motion. Oh, this is Michael now. Um, I have no TV besides on my cell phone. I have no cell phone service for the last three and a half weeks. Ever since Thursday night, about a month ago, no, I ain't had service anywhere I go. They try claiming it's the antenna. It's not the antenna. Why do you have signal? And so, set locations, I have like permission to use my phone, and then other places I have no permission to use my phone, like nothing that identifies. If I go to a place that identifies me, like government, state, like state, city, uh, state, city, or financial institutions like the bank, um, uh, I get identified and then my phone will work after I go through a point of like making myself acknowledged in the moment it's not until after it's like oh shit well he he really spent a dollar now I have to acknowledge his existence and so it's like when I go to places it's not until after I get past the register does my phone have service again and so it's like do I have to do this? Like, do I have to turn on the signal again? Okay, he spent a dollar, so he's obviously there. Now I have to turn on his service. And it'll be on until I pull out onto the main road. And then 
it'll be on until you know three or four cars pass by and then there goes my identity of service and I come home I've been either one my co-worker this is the reason why I moved down to Houston one my co-worker he said he is kind of rhetoric but it's like 77 right well you know I take 77 all the way there and so I'm like Italy uh right uh but he said lives out of town you know gas mileage I need a dollar more can I get an extra dollar for gas I mean you know it's not really profitable for me coming all this way uh I lit you know I live like three hours away can I not get a dollar more for pay I mean you got locals working for the almost the same price I mean I can't get two or three more dollars for gas anyways uh so all right one of those things you put on the application say you live out of town so that way you can get extra money so one I've either been chased out of town because I literally live on the border I live on the park schoolhouse road on the outside of the city limits not the one on the inside of city limits there's two entrances to park schoolhouse road so one is that guy right the reason why I left life home in the first time or, you know my place of business the first time uh because comments like that was I priced out of Waxahachie or was I chased out of Waxahachie and this is the only existence I can possibly afford uh I don't qualify for I don't qualify for government assistance and I don't qualify for the apartments because I don't make enough. So this is the one and only cheapest place that I can truly say that this is a third of my income goes towards my rent. A third of my income is for my rent. The only place and I don't live in the city of Waxhatchee no more. By $50, I could have been at the other RV park and still have the ability to say, I live to where a third of my income is my rent. Technically, if you want to get technical about electric and rent, or electric and water. But, uh, once again, if you want to get technical, that too is outside city limits uh so one am i chased out of waxahachie or was it the other reason why i left towards houston about nine years ago when i came out the closet don't come out the closet uh was i priced out of waxahachie was i chased out of waxahachie or was i priced out of waxahachie so Blessed be the Lord. I don't know what I plan on doing. I mean, this is it until I meet a man, I guess. I mean, put 2250 on all my applications, but I doubt that I'll make it. That's just for the qualifications to get into a rent house or an apartment. And prices are just going up. They're not going down at all. So by the time I get that twenty two fifty, I'm gonna be like, well, I need twenty five fifty now. Twenty five fifty, that fifty, I need that fifty, twenty five fifty. You do the math. A apartment that's like eleven, twelve hundred dollars, the requirements of it being three times the monthly rent of all apartments is like uh twenty two fifty an hour so it's like 50 cents so it's a joke you need a spouse you're only half of a whole but this is this is what I can afford ain't so bad you know I fixed the the leak on the roof and my dog uh, I fixed one it's a 2006 Puma 
which is a joke because I call myself an old maid. You know, what's a cougar and what's a puma? Anyways, it's a 2006 Puma. I can't complain. I got a, a hell of a deal for it. Like it was planned out. But, uh... Blessed be the Lord that even puts tyrants on the throne. I got sent home early today because there's no work. Well, I was asked if I wanted to go home because there's no work. I volunteered. And, uh... Telling my mom this morning, you know, it's like there's no work. She's arguing. She got a disability to check. I don't know where she's getting her statistics from. She ain't out there sweating. So I don't know where she's getting her statistics from, but there ain't no work. Now I'm sitting here saying I've worked all over this town. I'm outside the city limits. How did I get here? Of all places, there is no work. This was Michael's update I'm no longer homeless I have a camper trailer a travel trailer call it a travel trailer housing unit there we go a housing unit so I'm traveling between the parks I got this for a month and then you know here and there and there and here this is Michael Life. I'm still single, still a dog father, still got my Suburban, got my job, Inspirations of Full Time coming next week, so I have a 414 credit score, went from 750 to a 414 credit card debts, I'm 8,000 in debt, and this did not come from credit cards, believe it or not. The debt was there before this was. So. I'm single, and it looks like I was made to stay that way. 